Hey guys, Sean here. I just got out of seeing the new Christopher Nolan film, uh, Oppenheimer, and it's been a long time since I've felt kind of stunned. Like, I, I don't even know really what to say, except that I'll need to marinate on it a bit more, but I this might be Christopher Nolan's best film he's ever made. This is his magnum opus. There's not a single punch thrown in this movie, but I was thrilled the, like there was thrills in the movie from people just walking from room to room and talking with each other as a character study the performances Kelly murphy's never been better robert downey jr is going to get an academy award nomination for best supporting actor uh emily blunt was fantastic it's riveting and insightful and powerful and introspective and it makes you think and it makes you wonder and it makes you fear and it makes you wonder and yet there's kind of satisfaction coming near the end of the film with the character lines and everything like that christopher nolan masterfully starts to thread together these little plot points at certain points of the movie that you forget about and then they come to fruition a little bit later on it's shot very much in the way it felt like Interstellar in a lot of the way, the way Christopher Nolan kind of laid out the tapestry of the movie and how it was told and the narrative progressed and all this kind of stuff. Um, it's an absolutely mind blowing movie. One of the best of the year. Um, it's, it's phenomenal. It's incredible. It kind of has a little bit of that Lord of the Rings, Return of the King thing where it felt like there was an ending and then there was another ending and there's another ending, but you don't worry about it at all because it just keeps getting progressively more entrenching. The movie's phenomenal. See it as soon as you can. It's one of the best films of the year, if not the best film of the year. And I I think, I might feel differently tomorrow, but right now I think it's Christopher Nolan's best. We'll talk more about it tomorrow, uh, and that'll do for now. I'll talk to you later.